um, so as you said, um, you know, we'll kind of jump straight into it with Leatherface, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Um, as you said, that was your third acting job, which, I mean, to, I, I know maybe as at, at the moment you were really excited and energetic and enthusiastic to kind of do the role. Um, but maybe now, you know, it is such an insane thing to, to picture that, you know, to be a lead woman in such a huge movie of the franchise, how, how does that feel yeah. for you now? I'm so proud of it. You know, I go to some of these conventions and the movie mm -hmm. really, you know, is so popular with the fans. And I just feel so lucky to have been a part of it and to have been so, you know, green. I remember like the first scene I don't know how this could have been my third acting job, but for some reason, the, the clapper board, I was oh, like, okay. that, you really do that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I was so green, but I was just, um, and we, we shot in sequence. So it was kind of like filming a play. You know, we started at the beginning and went through the whole story. So that made it simple. I didn't get all confused. Like we're doing this first and then doing that scene, you know. Yeah. And of course I got to work with the great, Vigo Mortensen and Jeff Burr, who directed it. It was really fun. And R.A. Mihailov, who was Leatherface. He was very scary. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and I mean, even worked with Ken Foray as well, who's also huge in, course, in, the, yes. in the acting industry and, and in horror. Um, yeah. That's kind of a question I had with you. So as you said, going into this so green and, you know, looking back and and to see such to me a, a hugely star-studded cast that i think doesn't really get the appreciation it i think it truly deserves um what was it like to work with all these people on set well ken foray i can't believe i forgot to mention it. he was wonderful total veteran of you know the horror genre um i was sort of you know starstruck Mm -hmm. But then the the shooting schedule was so grueling. We were filming at night, every night for, for four or five weeks. So it was just, it was so fast and so violent. <laughs> Certainly when the, when the sun went down, the car stuff yeah. and the gas station stuff, that was really fun. But then when we got into that house and all the darkness, it was just grueling and we just all came together and everyone just really worked well together. There was no, you know, hissy fits or anything. It was just, it was, they made it very easy for me to be a newcomer. That's amazing. Um, and as you said, you know, it's one of the movies where pretty much the, I know you have the opening scene, which is filmed during the day. Um, so much of it though is filmed at night. Your, your lives, the whole cast and the crew, your lives must have kind of felt completely turned upside down because you're up all night filming and then you're asleep <laughs> during the day. How was that to deal with that? It was all just, it was all just so exciting. I was thought this is, you know, this is crazy. Like uh, Vigo and Billy Butler and I would leave set in the morning mm -hmm. covered in blood and be in like <laughs> rush hour traffic with uh, most people going to work. <laughs> and we got a few we got a few looks because we're like we there was no place to shower on the set so we were all just covered in dirt and blood driving down the highway at eight in the morning <laughs> <laughs> so it was all just sort of it was wacky and fun and kind of you know magical when you you know you dream of being in movies and then you're in one it's kind of unbelievable <laughs> um did you watch either either two of the previous uh texas chainsaw massacres Yes, I had seen the first one. And um, Jeff Burr and David Scow, the screenplay writer. This was, this was kind of an interesting one, I thought, because it was, there was a lot of humor in it. A lot mm -hmm. of tongue in cheek and a little like, dark, dark humor. So yeah. I thought it was very different from the first one. I don't really think I saw the second one. I've seen them, I, I've seen them all, but they're all kind of blend together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I think... For me, the reason why I feel number three uh, really stands out uh, quite early on. I mean, the original, it, you know, it hands down, people will say the original is, is almost impossible to beat. Um, yeah. The second one kind of took a completely different turn. 
Um, and I think it kind of took a lot of fans at the time, and even maybe now, uh, completely off track. Um, but with the third one, it kind of, there are reminiscences of the original. So to me, it brought the fans of the original, it kind of brought them back to the franchise. Um, and I kind of give Leatherface 3 a lot of credit for, for the continuation of Texas Chainsaw, because I think it brings back to the original. I agree with you, Samuel. That's cool. <laughs> Um, so as you mentioned, um, everyone was kind of really good on set. Everyone was really friendly, especially for yourself. Um, but your your general vibe, um, how how was it like? If you remember on on a general day to day, was it kind of like a jokey vibe? Was it very serious? Was it relaxed? Because as you mentioned, you're you're filming such a gory and violent movie. You always kind of preconcept ideas is that it's really strict and stern and scary no that was the it was the exact opposite jeff burrs such a sweet man and <laughs> expecting us and there was a lot a lot of laughter <laughs> i have to say particularly when i'm uh, nailed to a chair with grandpa in the corner it was <laughs> hilarious yeah for sure <laughs> Um, it was it was so outrageous that we we you know you have to laugh, and then of course when you're filming it you have to make it absolutely serious. So it was a wonderful balance uh -huh. of like really getting the story right and also uh -huh. having a wonderful time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, I I always want to say I, I want to give you a lot of props for your performance in the movie because I think your character was so so relatable for a lot of people where very you know scared timid and then she she kind of almost goes a little bit psycho <laughs> towards the end and i think you i think you played that perfect um Thank you, you know how does it feel uh, if you look back now and you watch the movie now uh, how do you feel about your performance at that time um i actually just recently watched it again all the way through um and I'm actually, I'm pretty proud of it. I'm pretty proud, there's a, there's a good through line and I go crazy right when I should. Yeah. And uh, I just love the end because I, you know, I survive and I'm totally badass at the end. Exactly. How does it feel being one of the few people, like one of the few sort of survival people from, from such a grueling movie? You're part of a very elite group. <laughs> I know, a survivor girl. I think that's what they're called. I am yes. honored. <laughs> <laughs> um so around that time i mean i know you were you were filming uh quite a few projects around that time uh do you remember at all sort of when the movie was released and the general vibe uh that the fan fans gave or uh, the general vibe of the movie when it came out well there was a lot of controversy because the mpaa or they gave it a triple X rating, the first mm -hmm. un, first edit. So <laughs> they cut out a lot of the really fun, gory stuff. And I know Jeff, the director was very disappointed with it. And I don't, some of the fans at the time, I remember saying, you know, it's, where's the, where's the gore? Mm -hmm. um, but, so I don't think it, it, it got the fanfare that it deserved because it was kind of chopped up. Yeah. No, I, I can understand that, but I think, uh, I, you know, I kind of speak on, on really for myself and for some people I've seen on certainly like fan made groups uh, that I think as time's going on, there's definitely so much more appreciation for the movie. Um, and it's really cool to see because I think it's a very underrated movie. Wow, well, thank you very much. Yeah, I think it's pretty clever. Mm. Even yeah, absolutely. The extra, the extra violence. Hey, it's been an absolute pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Um, I really can't wait to see what you do in the future. And thank you for taking time out of your day to speak to us. Thank you, Samuel. It was really a lot of fun.